Hey everyone, if you don't know me, I am Makeup by Night on YouTube. I am here today on 77 Looks to talk about some heat styling tips to prevent your hair from getting that really bad heat damage that we all seem to be suffering from. Some of us girls are what I like to call heat addicts. We kind of go through withdrawal symptoms when we don't have our blow dryers or our hair straighteners every single day. So here are some great tips that I use to prevent my hair from getting super damaged when I use some heat styling tools. Tip number one, take a break. Overstyling your hair can lead to some serious stress. And this also applies to overwashing your hair, like washing your hair every single day. Try letting your hair dry naturally on those days when you have some extra free time and you're not in a rush. Another thing that I do is I try not to heat style my hair on my second day hair. What I usually try to do is experiment with a new kind of hairstyle. For example, I'll put my hair into French braids and then take it out and have the crimps in there. Or I can put my hair into a fish style braid or maybe a donut bun. So this not only saves your hair the stress from being heat styled every single day, but it also allows you to play around with those different hairstyles that you've been wanting to do. Tip number two heat protection. There are so many heat protectors out there on the market, in drugstores, in, in the salons, in Sally's Beauty. There is really no excuse for why you are not using a heat protectant. One thing I've learned is to try to avoid the ones that have an alcohol component to them. And those are usually the ones that come in an aerosol type spray. I always apply a little bit of heat protectant to my wet hair prior to blow drying and then if I'm going to continue heat styling, for example straightening my hair or curling my hair, I'll take another kind of heat protectant which is meant for dry hair and using a little at a time and then continuing to heat style and this is just going to make sure that I protect my hair as much as I can and avoid greasing it up in the process. Tip number three, using the lowest temperature possible. Oftentimes I'm not even sure about which temperature to use my heat styling tools on. Even I am guilty of turning up the heat too high on my straightener. So testing out your tools at different temperatures will allow you to determine what the lowest setting is that you can use on your hair without causing too much heat damage. So if you're suffering from a lot of heat damage on your hair, I hope these tips will help you out next time you're going to blow dry your hair, you can think about doing this. Please do not forget the heat protectant if you are going to be styling your hair with heat styling tools every single day, which I obviously don't recommend. So thank you so much for watching. You can check back here on the 77 Looks app for more videos. Or you can check out my YouTube at www.youtube.com slash makeupbynights. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.